wipers, the washers work. These are very slow. Let me put them on high. Oh, that's not as bad. That's not so bad. They were going slower earlier. Okay, they're off. Heater works, fan works. Have it on defroster. It's not all the way warmed up yet, so it's not real warm yet, but we'll switch between defroster and vent. I don't remember if I tried floor or not. Feels like it's switching. No, nope, it went to defroster. So you have vent and defrost. Okay, so anyway, this uh, transmission it shifted fine, worked flawlessly. Um, I forgot to do reverse for you. Okay, so where'd my screen go? All right, and reverse. Works groovy. So let's do a little uh, walk around. Um, I'll just do this while we're right here. The window has some rust. Not sure what that's about. Never seen a truck with that before. This is a little clobber. That's a little rusty. Bed is in primo shape other than the big crater right there and the fenders are a little crummy. Not bad at all though. Fairly straight. Lift gate works. The power wire is no good. It's disconnected. I took a video of it working as well. 306 banger. sensor up in the corner that I showed you I broke the, the the nipple off of it when I was putting the vacuum hose on so I had to fix it it's apparently working fine but just figured I'd disclose that you can see the tire coming apart also did a new fuel filter while I was under here somewhere oh yeah I was gonna show you the exhaust um, catalytic converter is present no muffler no smoke there's a little bit of smoke on startup sometimes but running and gunning and it's not smoking. Rear tank is the only one that works. The front one, the fuel pump is dead. It's a big spider web in the windshield. Otherwise, the truck is pretty clean. This is leftovers from the tune-up. Has all new plugs, cap and rotor. Don't know if I mentioned that part or not, but um, yeah, pretty solid truck and runs good, starts good. The brake, brake light's on because the rear slave cylinder, rear right slave cylinder is leaking. So there's no pressure. They still work fine, but you know, they'll, they'll uh, not do their job after a while, of course. All right, there you go. 1991 F250 base model custom 306 banger runs good also has an average of 160 psi on all cylinders 159 being the lowest 170 being the highest um, ZF5 granny gear five-speed manual with overdrive 
go ahead and let you read the tag. So anyway, there you go. Door shut nicely. Testing out the hydraulic lift gate. Battery jumper worked for one test, and then when I did a video, it didn't work very well because the battery was too low. So, I got the big diesel battery, similar to the size of battery this truck should have in it. Anyhow, how, um, this battery cable running from the solenoid to power everything runs under the frame and to the front of the truck. It is chafed, it is green, it is nasty, it's not safe, I disconnected it completely. So, I'm just running uh, jumpers off of the battery. I have this jumper set to the positive lead on the pump itself, so the solenoid and everything is bypassed. As soon as I hook up this ground cable, this will work. So anyway, um, I'm going to let this down with basically no weight on it. Here's the control. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and stand on this. I'm 180 pounds. And I'm not going to let it go up quite all the way, simply because I don't want it to hit. Okay. 